Hey everyone, I want to share with you one of my favorite exercises to help calm our nervous system by directly affecting the vagus nerve. So let's dive in. The vagus nerve is our 10th cranial nerve and is responsible for the regulation of our internal organs such as digestion, heart rate, respiratory rate, vasomotor activity, and is also responsible for some of our reflexes. Now, a lot of the research of the vagus nerve comes from Dr. Stephen Porges and his work on polyvagal theory. In another video, I will go into depth on polyvagal theory and, and what it is and why it's important for us to be aware of. But today I want to take you through an exercise that has been developed by Dr. Stanley Rosenberg that has shown to be very quick and effective at calming our nervous system and directly increasing vagal tone. And it does this by tapping directly in to our 10th cranial nerve, the vagus nerve. When we experience stressful things from trauma or other events in our life, our nervous system can propel us into protective modes, some of which you may have heard of before, such as fight, flight, or freeze. When this happens, our body begins to release a variety of stress hormones, for example, adrenaline and cortisol. And these hormones are released to help us respond to the stressful or traumatic situations that we're going through. But if we don't get the opportunity to process, digest, and metabolize some of the things that our body has kicked up for us from what we're going through, then our body's stress response can remain online. Therefore, some of the things we might notice is that we might feel anxious when we're not anxious. We might be more vigilant for no particular uh, reason in the environment, but our body's feeling that way. And we may constantly feel fatigue. It's then really important for us to learn how to tap into the natural healing ability of our body and the wisdom that the vagus nerve has to slow down some of those responses and work through some of that stuff we have and calm down our system. So let's get started. We're gonna do a before and after check so that you can see a shift in how this exercise is gonna help. So what I'm gonna first invite you to do is we're gonna test out uh, our neck mobility. Now, if you're experiencing any pain in your neck as we do this check-in, just stop at the pain and don't push it. So what I'm gonna invite you to do is we're gonna move our head all the way to the right and then all the way to the left just to get a sense of how far our neck is moving and what the mobility is like in this moment. So first let's start by moving our head all the way to the right. Try to move it as far as you can. Get a sense of how that feels. And now let's move it all the way to the left. Get a sense of how that feels. Got it? Okay. Now what I'm gonna invite you to do you can do this in your chair. You can do this lying down. Some people prefer lying down. So if that's more comfortable for you, please do. I'm gonna lean my chair back here and get comfortable. So leaning back or lying down, I'm gonna invite you to take your hands and link your fingers together. And then putting them up behind your head, wrapping your hands around the base of your skull and leaning comfortably back. Kind of like the posture when you know, you're know you comfortable at the end of the day and you're relaxing, just like that. Now, as you hold this position, what I'm gonna get you to do is without moving your head and keeping your head still, let's look to the right. So move your eyes to the right. You don't have to overly strain, just find a point to the right, look there, and we're gonna hold it there for 30 seconds. And I'll let you know when that's done. Now, without moving and keeping your eyes looking to the right, either yawn or swallow or sigh. Then, without moving your head, looking forward. And then without moving your head, taking your eyes to the left. 
and hold your gaze over to the left until your body naturally swallows, sighs, or yawns. Hold it here for as long as you need. Keep blinking if you need to. Just naturally and let your breath just be there naturally. Now I just swallowed, but if you're still holding it, feel free to keep holding it longer for as long as you need until that reaction naturally happens. If it's taking a little bit longer for you, feel free to pause this video and do this until it works. Now, if you're done, I'll invite you to release your hands and gently sit back up. Now, I'm gonna invite you to take a deep breath. And then let's do that check-in again. Let's see if our neck is moving any differently. So going all the way to the right, Maybe you notice it moves a bit more or it's a little bit looser for you and then go all the way to the left. Yeah, good. I got a little bit more mobility for myself in going to the left or right by doing that. Now, why does this work for allowing our neck to increase the range of mobility and why did we check in? Well, Dr. Rosenberg has researched and shown that our vagus nerve connecting from up here all the way into our organs also innervates and connects to the muscles in our shoulders. And when we're stressed or overwhelmed or anxious, you know, we might go through most of our day and then our shoulders are all the way up here uh, and they're really tight. And that's because our vagus nerve is not activated and our vagal tone, it might be weak in those moments. So by doing this exercise, it calms down our nervous system and releases some tension in our shoulders, therefore allowing the range of motion to increase. Now this is something that I'll invite you to practice pretty often. You might wanna practice at least once a day. It's like anything, the more you practice the better that you get at it, the more that you'll increase your ability to tune into the calming system of your nervous system, you'll increase vagal tone, and you'll be able to help regulate yourself in times of stress. Some people like to do this before bed. Some people, meaning me, I usually do this exercise right before I go to sleep because it calms my system down and then I'm able to eat more easily fall to sleep. Now, if you have any questions or maybe this exercise didn't work for you, uh, put your comments down below and we can talk it out, see what uh, worked and what didn't. I hope that something today did help and I appreciate you tuning in. If you need, come back to this as much as possible, as much as you need to get this routine built in. And in some, it's hands together behind our head, 30 seconds looking to the right, of course, you can keep blinking, keep breathing as usual. And then once you're done, you swallow, yawn or sigh, and then looking to the left. And then you hold your gaze over to the left until you naturally swallow, yawn or sigh. Thanks and take care.